Namaste Soul Tribe Spiritual Healer back to give you guys a message. Hi my beautiful Aries, my baby bosses, kings and queens. I love you guys. For anybody watching this video, even if you're not Aries or you don't you are dealing with Aries or you have it in your chart, this reading might resonate with you. Thank you for joining. Um this is a timeless message, so whenever you see this message, it was meant to resonate with you. You were meant to watch it. All right, my beautiful loves, so let's get into your energy reading. I have some messages written down, as always, for you guys, so let's get right in. There's somebody in your energy, and this person is in, basically, this person's in, like, a spiritual competition with you guys. This person feels like um, they're in a competition with you regarding your gifts how powerful your gifts are how your gifts work how you use them um what you speak about what you practice how you manifest there's somebody around you that is basically in a weird uh, spiritual competition with you male or female and this individual they really don't understand that for you to be able to tap into your spiritual side in order for you to tap into your spiritual side and connect with your ancestors and activate all your dormant gifts you have to go through some level a certain level of awakening you have to go through the dark night of your soul and the dark night of your soul is not actually fun to go through but it's actually a process there's levels to spirituality there's levels to enlightenment there's levels to tapping into your gifts and so this individual that you're dealing with this person knows that you're spiritual obviously this person um watches everything you do or they pay attention to you and what you talk about this person can ask you a lot of questions about spiritual things spirituality they can randomly ask you certain questions to see what your answer is this individual is studying you, studying you, and um, paying attention to your gifts. Paying attention to how you use your gifts and how they work. This person really thinks that they can watch you, study you, and then all of a sudden their gifts are going to be enhanced just like yours. But this is not how it works. This person is highly confused. Um, this person is highly confused, they're highly manipulative, and they're deceptive. Because this person wants other people to view them as spiritually gifted or spiritually in tune or awakened or evolving, but this person is not. This person is just mimicking everything that you're doing or what you're saying and how you're doing it, whatever the case may be. This could be somebody in your life. They had no clue. They have no clue what it takes or the fact that you, you need to be of a certain bloodline. That's the thing. This person is very uh, confused about the way spirituality works and that you literally have to be chosen by a set of ancestors that were gifted in their past life as well as you for you to be chosen to embody this energy, to embody these gifts to turn your pain into power, to manifest things, to be able to get through any situation, to be resilient, to be understanding regardless of what you've been through, to be an empath and compassionate. You have to have many, many qualities in order for you to be able to withhold a certain amount of light and embody a certain amount of gifts and go through a certain amount of trials and tribulations and come out on the other side, still faithful, still humble, still loving, still understanding, and coming out on the other side, a better person. So this person um, hasn't done any shadow work, or they haven't done any meditation work, or they haven't really tapped in or connected with their ancestors, but this person thinks that they are gifted because this person hears, or they hear, or they have dark thoughts. Okay, so they hear or they have dark thoughts or they hear or they have manipulative ways. So this person's able to observe people 
this person's able to observe people and basically figure out how to manipulate them, figure out how to get the most out of them, or figure out how to sway them or persuade them to do whatever it is that they want them to do. So this person uh, is gifted in manipulating people, so they believe that that they are high ranking because they get away with manipulating people or they usually get their way with people but this person is not understanding that the more that they do whatever they're doing to people the more that they uh, sit there and try to embody your energy and confuse other people and pretend the more karma that they're racking up the more hardship that they're gonna face the more blockages they're gonna have Okay, because this it, it's it's impossible for you to just mimic or copy somebody's spiritual gifts. There's no way. Okay, that's for one thing. In this person's mind, this person can't stand you. They hate you. They wish you dead. In this person's mind, you're the worst person ever. This person could have actually said these things to other people about you. But behind the scenes, this person is trying to mimic you, copy you, do what you do, and be like you. So I don't understand how this person's mind is actually working. If they hate you, they despise you, they want you dead, they want you gone, or they wish you the worst. They can't stand to see you thrive or happy. But on the other hand, this person wants to be like you and wants to copy you and do what you do. So this person is, has multiple personality disorder or this person needs to uh, take their meds. This person is not thinking right. This person isn't acting right. This person doesn't know who they really are because all they do is make other people and try to present themselves to the world as somebody that they're not. Okay, and for whoever you are, you you could be catching on to this person um, and what they've been doing and how they've been trying to pretend that they're of love and light or pretend that they're actually evolving or pretend that they're actually doing the work. But you know this person, okay, and you know them very well or you could just, you could just tell that this person isn't who they say they are. Okay, so there's somebody that's going to approach this person or confront them. There's somebody in this person's life that's irritated or angry that this person's trying to be like you or act like you or pretend to be spiritual or gifted or, you know, whatever they're doing that it's really um, getting them more bad karma. And there's somebody in this person's life that's going to confront them. So somebody in this person's life is going to confront them and they're going to actually come towards this person and tell them, hey, why are you acting like such and such? Or why are you pretending to be this way when you clearly told me that you don't believe in spirituality, when you told me that you don't believe in that nonsense, that you don't believe in anything for that matter? So there's somebody that's going to be calling this person out around a group of people and this person is is going to look very foolish. They're also going to get triggered and get upset. And they're also going to act like they don't know what this other person, what are you talking about? Like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, they're going to act like they don't know what they're talking about. So, spirituality is not a competition, but somebody's literally competing with you in regards to your spiritual gifts how powerful they are, and how you use them. This person is going down a dark path because your ancestors are already at the front line waiting for this person to try to strike or waiting for this person to try to do some weird ritual because I, you know, the Most High God is in control. All you got to do is leave everything with God. Leave, leave God your worries. Leave God your fears. Leave these karmics up to God. Let God handle them. All you have to do is be a good person. Stay in your own lane, mind your business, be very loving and genuine, be very kind, and put out good energy, and connect with the Most High God often, and say in your prayers of protection throughout the day, nothing will come to you, no harm will come to you, no, no mishaps will happen, your life won't go into ruin, 
you know, you won't lose anybody. But you have to be very faithful in that you are protected and that you are very spiritually gifted and that you were chosen and handpicked by your ancestors and the divine for your spiritual purpose and journey on this earth. And that nobody's going to come around and just try to study you and imitate your gifts and they're actually going to embody them. That doesn't work that way. So this person is uh, looking a little crazy out here in these streets. People are starting to wonder if this person is okay. So somebody might be doing like a wellness check on somebody or somebody might be taking somebody in for like some sort of a mental health evaluation or they're encouraging this person to go seek help or to take their medication. Maybe they stop taking their meds. I don't know. This is somebody that's very mentally unstable and um, they live they live a certain toxic lifestyle. They can overindulge in um, substance, but they want to sit there and um, point their finger at you and judge you for being spiritual or for using your spiritual abilities to manifest or to have a better life. But this person's literally low key behind the scenes trying to mimic whatever it is that you're doing. And this person is being confronted or exposed by somebody in their life. So spirituality is not a competition. There's levels to climbing that spiritual ladder. And whoever you are, you actually did the work. You actually went through the dark night of your soul. You actually had to heal in private. You had to strengthen yourself. And then you had to come out of a cocoon just like a butterfly. And you had to uh, shine your light. You had to show the world the real you. You had to put yourself out there. You had to speak your truth or whatever it is, it is that you needed to do in order for you to be in your purpose, you had to do that. But you didn't get there overnight. And so this person that's trying to put up appearances or make it seem like they're one way overnight, this is this this is looking crazy to other people. This person is doing this to themselves. You're not doing anything to them. But you can clearly see what they're doing and you are not reacting. You're unbothered. So... This person is creating some sort of dark timeline for themselves by lying to themselves and other people. You have to focus on peace and love and understanding. Wishing others the same. No longer worrying about the enemies that caused you pain. Because whoever you are, you're not worrying about it anymore. You left it in God's hands. You, you washed your hands with this energy and you don't want nothing to do with it. And these people don't understand when enough is enough. They don't understand when their time has run out. They don't understand when a karmic cycle has ended. They want to keep forcing and forcing and forcing it until the divine steps in and forces these individuals to get on their knees and beg for forgiveness and pray to God and ask God for mercy because... God is in control of whatever we manifest, right? The Most High is in control of whatever we manifest. So if we're manifesting something of a high vibration, something that's good, something that isn't going to harm anyone else, something that's for the better, then God will allow it to manifest as long as you're in the right energy to manifest it. Now, when somebody's over here conjuring darkness towards you or trying to manifest the opposite for you, the Most High God is intervening every single time and not allowing that to manifest in your life because God's hands, hand of protection is over you and your life and your children and your home. Your job or your business and whatever you've been working for, whatever God blessed you with. This person thinks that they can take from you whatever God blessed you with, but this person doesn't understand that's not how it works, okay? We all have good or bad karma. Whatever energy you're putting out is energy you're going to get back in return. Okay, so yeah, this person is putting themselves in a dark timeline and they think that they're actually taking something from you, slowing you down, dimming your light, making, I don't know, getting attention. But they're getting negative attention and they don't even understand that. People are starting to look at them crazy and they don't even understand that too. Okay, so... You are experiencing another level of awakening for some of you guys watching. All right? You don't need tarot cards to get messages. You get them straight from the divine, from source. You don't need no cards to get messages. You guys get messages all the time, every day. As soon as you wake up, you get messages. You 
you get the messages from your higher self and your spirit guides. When you became so comfortable that you didn't need superficial things to make you feel good about yourself, no makeup, no nails, no glamour, just your naked version of you, that's when you know you have completely evolved. That's when you know that you have had a major transformation, a death and a rebirth, and that you have evolved. So you, whoever you are, you don't worry about those things, okay? You're not pressed about getting your nails done every five minutes. You're not pressed about um, putting makeup on every single day when you leave the house. You're not pressed about that kind of glitz and glamour. All you're focused on is that you look presentable, you take care of yourself, you have your energies in check, your vibration is high, and you go to work and make money and pay your bills and your rent and you provide for your family. That's all you're worried about. And this person's worried about the wrong things. And, and, and they're not right within, okay? This person isn't right within. So you can't go back and forth with this person. You can't exchange conversations with them. You can't exchange energies, okay? You can't take them seriously. You can't even give them advice. Because this person is like, this person is not in their right mind. They're beyond reason. And they want you to believe in other people that they got it all figured out and they know about all this stuff. But they really don't. They could be misguiding themselves or others. Because first, you are not a body, you are a soul, okay? Your soul is ready to ascend. You can't, you can't feel good or comfortable around a dark energy or people with dark auras anymore. You just can't. It just irritates your spirit. So you got to choose wisely who you be around or who you spend time with. Periodically throughout the day, your, your soul could be lifting outside of your body. Your soul could be in like 4D and your body's over here in 3D. So you, you, your, your, body, your, soul could, your soul could be lifting, ascending at, at different periods of, your, of the day. And you could be losing track of time. Or you could just feel uh, like the room is spinning out of nowhere. Like you got dizzy out of nowhere. Like the, the uh, what's that called? Um, vertigo. Somebody could be having those dizzy spells or experiencing vertigo. It's because you are ascending, okay? Your, your body is ascending and your spirit is lifting to the 4D, okay? That's why it's happening. So right now, you got to eat healthy, you got to drink healthy, you got to eat fruits and veggies, get plenty of rest, drink plenty of water, all right? And nourish your body with healthy things, all right? Like, don't eat so much meat around this time. Whoever you are, you could be getting sick to your stomach after eating meat, all right, I already spoke about the meat in the supermarkets. You don't, you don't really know what's going on with that. So maybe you meet, might need to take a break from eating meat. Or maybe dairy products are affecting your stomach. Or maybe it's making you retain water, gain weight, get bloated, or whatever the fact may be. Making you dizzy, ill, fatigue. You need to meditate twice a day, Spirit said. No witch or warlock can access your energy at this time. All contracts are destroyed by the Most High God. You know, the new earth is, is here. So we have created the new earth, guys. So congratulations. Things are going to start shifting in the matrix. Things are going to start changing. People are going to start shape-shifting. And, and people are going to start getting exposed. And people are going to start stepping down. And there's going to be a new world, a new earth. Okay, so a shocking phone call or a freak accident, I picked up on this. Somebody watching this video, you could be getting a shocking phone call out of nowhere about somebody that had a freak accident and this could be shocking you out of nowhere. This phone call comes through and it could, it could make you very nervous or panicky or anxiety. Maybe somebody you care about or you love or you know gets into some sort of freak accident and you get a phone call about this. You're going to have to meditate and ground yourself. And keep your energy um, balanced. So a spiritual attack that could have been sent to you. Okay. Or somebody's preparing some sort of spiritual attack. The full moon energy. Trying to use a full moon ritual to attack you. And it could be affecting your loved ones or the people around you. Or they did this before. And you need to light your protection candles. And, and pray to God for his for prayers of protection here. Because somebody like literally prepared a full moon ritual to cause you conflict, block your money, bad health, or 
to have some sort of major freak accident. Your ancestors are waiting at the door when this person already conjured something up. Your ancestors are already here to block it. Wow. This person made a bad choice to do this. They were warned and they still did it. Now they're having bad dreams, nightmares, or they're getting bad news. Whoever you are, you could have planted a seed or you could pl be planting flowers. You could be gardening or maybe you're being called to gardening or to plant flowers or something with seeds. Or maybe you planted a seed and now you're getting a huge offer opportunity. You manifested something here a while back and now it's coming to fruition now. A huge opportunity comes in, an offer, a manifestation. So... It is not too good to be true. When this offer comes in, you manifested this offer, this opportunity. Take the opportunity. Do not block the opportunity for yourself. And don't miss this opportunity, my loves. All right? And then I heard, Billie Jean is not my lover. She's just a girl. Claims that I am the one. But the champ is not my son. Oh, shoot. Somebody's name could be Billy Jean, somebody's name could be Billy, somebody's name could be Jean, Jeanette, Jenny, Janice, Joanne, Jonah, Jared, Joey, Joseph. Mm. Somebody could be finding out that there's the ch there's a child that's not their child, or somebody's finding out that there's the child that they raised is not their child or somebody's finding out that the child that they have uh, has a different father. It's not this person's child that they thought it was. Somebody could be getting a DNA test, finding out the truth about who's their real father or somebody here is finding out the truth that a child is not their child. They could have took a, a DNA test and it came back not the child's father and this person is devastated. This person needs to speak to you. Maybe you told this person that wasn't their child. And they didn't believe you. And now they're finding this out. So now they're freaking out. Because they know your gifts are real. Whoever you are. Or this person got a reading done. And the reader told this person that. That this person was that this person was lying to them. About the child being their child. That it's not their child. This person had an affair. With somebody they know. Or a friend. Or somebody they work with. And that's not their child. Somebody could have an affair with somebody. Or their ex. Or whoever they had an affair with. Somebody got a reading done and this person literally found out through the reading that that wasn't their child. They didn't want to believe the reader. They didn't want to believe it. They didn't want to check. They were afraid. So this person finally finds out the truth and this person's coming back towards you to let you know that you were right. Whoever you are, you could have gave this person a message or you told them this. Hmm. What is going on in this energy spirit? Somebody's bad habits are getting the best of... Somebody got some really bad habits, all right? This person really is feeding their demons. This person is overindulging, staying up late at night. This person is... Uh, this person is trying to, like, telepathically communicate to you something, or they're trying to uh, teleport into your energy or transfer energies to you late at night. Alright, this person is damaged from some sort of relationship, or this person is damaged from the relationship that you, you know, this person has some sort of relationship and they're damaged from it. So they're trying to project that energy onto you, blame you for whatever problems they're having in their life. This person has to heal from whatever relationships or whatever situations they dealt with, but this person wants to actually blame you for whatever they're going through. Well, this person needs to look in the mirror and reflect. And then I heard, I'm looking at the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his ways. Michael Jackson music. Okay, so somebody's name could be Michael. Somebody's name, last name could be Jackson. All right, I channeled two Michael Jackson songs already. And this person is starting to reflect. This masculine right here, <clears throat> I'm picking up on a masculine. This could be you or somebody that you you know or somebody you were attached to before. This masculine energy here is starting to reflect and look in the mirror and starting to recognize that he has to change his ways, all right? In, in order for him to right his wrongs, he needs to change his ways and reflect, all right? And you needed space away from this person or this person's isolating themselves now. You have triggered somebody's awakening, Aries, and this is what you do. You trigger people's awakenings, all right? You triggered this masculine's awakening and now they need space to go within. This person is like... Removing people out of their life and going into hermit mode because they had a major realizations and awakenings 
when it comes to their life, when it comes to the people they were dealing with, when it comes to the mistakes or the decisions they made. This person was struggling to forgive people in their life or like this, like I said, this person went through something so they be, they became a karmic. They became a karmic because of whatever they went through, whatever somebody did to hurt them. So they became a karmic in your life. And they had to forgive people in their past or in their life in order to become a better person. But this person created a soul tie with you, a trauma bond with you, or some sort of weird uh, binding spell or something. Like they binded themselves to you or they binded to you somehow. It's a soul tie. Because when you and this person got together, it was based on sex, okay? It was based on passion and sex, and that's not based, you know, like, that's why things became toxic. This person fell in love with you because they were attracted to you, they had chemistry with you. But this person couldn't actually really love you if this person could never actually love themselves. And this is what you're starting to recognize and realize, that this person has a lot of issues. They could have daddy issues, mommy issues, life issues, trauma, whatever, relationship issues. They cannot love you if they cannot love themselves enough to heal from this relationship that they had in the past. This person has unresolved issues from their past. All right? So, yeah, you're headed for your destiny. All right? So protect yourself from these type of people that don't know what they want and they're trying to stagnate you. This is your reading. I love you guys. Till the next time, namaste.